On Sunday the 24th of October 2021, Letez and Bet Gide took to the start line at the Valencia Half Marathon, alongside some of the best half marathon runners in the world. In the lead up to this race, Gide stated that she believed a time in the region of 62 and a half minutes would be possible, and despite her incredible speed and strength, which has seen her break the 5,000m and 10,000m world records, as well as becoming the first ever woman to run 15km in under 45 minutes, nobody would believe how close this prediction would turn out to be. This is because a time of 62 minutes and 30 seconds would knock over a minute and a half off the world record set by Ruth Chepengetic earlier this year and around a minute and 15 seconds off the unratified world record set by Yalamzerf Yahualu. In addition, this is Gidi's first ever half marathon, meaning that getting anywhere near the world record would be a tremendous accomplishment. But to push Gide all the way in this race would be Yalamzerf Yahualu, who just two months prior to this race ran an unratified world record time of 63 minutes and 44 seconds at the Antrim Coast Half Marathon. As a result, when these two lined up alongside each other with just minutes to go until the start of the race, it was anyone's guess as to who would come out on top. And as the race got underway, Gide and Yahualu immediately began to match each other stride for stride at an extremely aggressive pace, resulting in them going through the 5km mark in bang on 15 minutes. This equates to a blisteringly fast pace of 4 minutes and 49 seconds per mile, or 3 minutes per kilometre, leaving them already 10 seconds in front of world record pace. However, on from this point, Yahualu and Gide didn't slow in the slightest, as they passed through the 10km point in an unbelievable time of 29.45, which is just 7 seconds shy of the world record for that distance. As a result, this means that they covered the previous 5km in a time of 40 minutes and 45 seconds, which is a full 15 seconds faster than the first 5,000m. It was also at this point where many people predicted Gide's pace would start to drop, due to her being primarily a 5,000 and 10,000 metre runner. However, they couldn't be more wrong, as just on from the 10 kilometre mark, Yalamzerf Yahualu began to drift further behind Gide, as Gide continued to hold this amazing speed through the 15 kilometre mark, as she split a time of 44 minutes and 29 seconds, which equates to a pace of 4 minutes and 46 seconds per mile, or 2 minutes and 57 seconds per kilometre, as well as placing her more than one minute ahead of the world record set by Ruth Chepengetic. To add to this, Gide recorded a 10 km time of 29 minutes and 29 seconds from 5 km up to 15 km, and this actually surpasses the current 10,000 m world record on the roads, to put in perspective just how fast Gide was running. From here, it became almost inevitable that Gide was going to destroy the world record, but the question remained by how much? And as Gide made her way closer and closer to the finish line, she continued to look extremely smooth and almost effortless in her running style, which is simply astonishing when considering the unbelievable pace she set for such a long duration of time. And as Gide approached the finish line, she gave it all she had left to sprint across the line in order to knock as much time off the world record as possible. This resulted in a truly inconceivable time of 62 minutes and 52 seconds, a full 70 seconds in front of the previous mark, equating to a pace of 4 minutes and 48 seconds per mile, or 2 minutes and 58 seconds per kilometre. While Yahualu crossed the finish line in a brilliant time of 63.51 to finish second, while also finishing inside the world record set by Ruth Chepengetic. To add to this amazing achievement, Letez and Bet Gide is aged at just 23 years old, while Yalamzerf Yahualu is just 22 years old. And as a result, I think we can expect many more half marathon world records to be broken in the future by these two amazing runners. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel.